In this video, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. So first, we'll start with parallel lines. What are parallel lines? Well, in Euclidean geometry, they are two lines that never cross in the coordinate plane. Uh, so they might look something like this, or they could look like this. Uh, those would be indications of parallel lines. That's cool. That's pretty uh, standard, though. Um, in, how can we recognize if two lines are going to be parallel if we're given their equations? Well, parallel lines would have the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope. And a little caveat, not only do they have the same slope, they also must have different y-intercepts. If they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, they're not parallel, they are the same line. So when we think of parallel lines, we think of lines that have the same slope, but it's also important to note that they also must have different y-intercepts. So if it's given in um, slope intercept form, we want to keep that in mind. So parallel lines have the same slope. Notation for parallel, it actually is like drawing two parallel lines. Uh, usually they're supposed to be just like straight up and down, but sometimes that can get confused for number 11. So when I do it, I usually do them just a little bit slanted just to indicate. So uh, we could say the first line is parallel to the second line. That would be the notation that the two lines are parallel. Again, if you see it in a textbook, it might be straight up and down, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't look like a number 11 or part of an absolute value. So I just do them a little bit slanted. That's parallel lines. Not so bad. Perpendicular lines. So when I'm teaching parallel and perpendicular lines, parallel lines don't meet. What does that tell us about perpendicular lines? And then the students all say, oh, they do meet. And that's true. Perpendicular lines do, in fact, intersect. But a lot of lines intersect. In fact, any two lines that aren't parallel are going to intersect. Does that mean that they are all perpendicular lines? Mm -mm. Perpendicular lines meet uh, at four right angles. So when we have perpendicular lines, they intersect and form four right angles. Perpendicular lines intersect and create four right angles. Now, if we're given the equation or the graph, we're not going to whip out a, uh, a protractor and measure to make sure that it's really 90 degrees. So is there a way that based on the equations, we know that they're perpendicular? Of course there is. Um, so perpendicular lines, they have to have two special traits about their slopes. Um, their slopes, it's called negative or opposite, however you want to think about it. I usually use negative, which maybe I shouldn't, but I say negative reciprocals. Uh, negative reciprocal slopes. So their slopes are negative reciprocals. Negative means that one's positive and one's negative. And reciprocals means that, so reciprocals, if I have A over B, the reciprocal of A over B is B over A. Reciprocal is B over A. Another way that we might think about perpendicular lines, their slopes multiply to negative one. So if you were to multiply the two slopes, the result would be negative one. So the, uh, the slope of ah, the slope of L1 times the slope of L2 is negative one. That's the same thing as saying that they are negative reciprocals. Notation for perpendicular. So if we want to write that two lines are perpendicular without writing the word perpendicular, it's like an upside down T. You basically create perpendicular line segments. So we could say line one is perpendicular to line two. Let's look at some examples. We want to determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither based on their equations. The first one, um, we have y equals 1 fourth x minus 3. Our second line is y equals 3x plus 1 third. The, equa the, the slope, excuse me, of the first line, so I'm going to say the slope of L1, I'll use a subscript, is 1 fourth. And the slope of L2 is 3. So they're not the same. The lines are not parallel. They're also not negative reciprocals of each other. That means they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. So these are just ordinary, boring, intersecting lines. They are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Letter B, the slope of line 1. So I'm going to say L of line 1 is negative 2 fifths. And the slope of line 2 is 5 over 2. So in this case, they're not parallel because they're not the same. They do have opposite signs. 
L1 has a positive, uh, negative slope and L2 has a positive slope. And then the question is, are they also reciprocals of each other? Is 2 fifths the reciprocal of 5 halves? And the answer is yes. That makes these lines perpendicular. So we can say L1 is perpendicular to L2. Letter C, line 1 is given by the equation y equals 4. Line 2 is given by the equation x equals negative 4. This one is special because these are special lines. So y equals 4, that is a horizontal line at 4. x equals negative 4, that is a vertical line at negative 4. And while we have a slope here of 0 and undefined, it kind of doesn't match any of this. But in fact, any horizontal line is perpendicular to any vertical line. So these two lines are perpendicular. L1 is perpendicular to L2. Last letter D, the slope of line 1 is a half. The slope of line 2 is a half. Those are the same slope, and they have different y-intercepts. This one has a y-intercept of 7. This one does not have a y-intercept. These two lines are parallel. We can notate that. We can say L1 is parallel to L2 because they have the same slope.